Hello and welcome back to my Eyes of Fire Let's Play series, where in this episode we have a huge project ahead of us. Well, I have a huge project ahead of me. <laughs> but anyways, in the last episode, if you did not watch it, we did some mermaid stuff. Um, we tamed, tamed? Befriended. Befriended is the right word. We befriended some mermaids at no, wrong chest, and we did a bunch of trading. As you can see, we got a desert mermaid egg worker. We also got, we ended up getting the queen egg in the end, so that is really cool. This is what we got, and I still have some jungle mer jungle mermaid resin and desert mermaid resin as well. Um, we're gonna deal with this another day. For this episode. Um, you may see some odd stuff in my uh, inventory here. As you can see, first off, I have unenchanted ragged scale armor, and the reason for that is, don't worry, the enchanted stuff is still here. But as you can see, it's pretty banged up. And if I enable advanced tooltips, you can see down at the durability, I don't have much in this armor. Uh, yeah, so, and I don't have bending on it. Yet, I have two mending books, but that would only fix um, half of the set. And I do believe you can repair armor using, uh, so if I take the helmet for example, and then I take uh, red dragon scales and I put it in an anvil, I can repair it. I could do that. I could do that. But I think I might want to make a whole new set of enchanted dragon scale. Um, armor I think that is what I think I want to do anyway um, because if you look at the chest plate it already has protection 4 I want to really bang this out to have all unbreaking 3 protection 4 and mending and good stuff like that um, but that uh, I'm gonna put that to, to the side because that is not what we're going to be doing today um, yeah, we, we also, as you can see, I have a diamond pickaxe actually down here on Reggie 2, efficiency 2, silk touch. That was actually not a 30 level enchantment, but you may ask why on earth do you have that? Well, you see, I want to get into dragon steel. And, uh, well, I've been thinking of where I could possibly get something like that going. So for dragon steel, you need the dragon forge. And the Dragon Forge requires, well, the Dragon Forge itself and dragons. By the way, these guys are now stage 2. Look at this. Stage 2. That's pretty cool. Melter, Frost, and Flare. All stage 2. That's pretty cool. I need them to be bigger though, so I needed in this task something I could do. Excuse me. I, I like you as small. I like you as small. I like the way you are, but you you're gonna grow and I need you bigger So I can ride you and we can do damage together. Yes. Yes. All right <laughs> Oh boy Anyways, I needed a place for this stuff um, I needed a place for the dragon forge and actually I need place for two dragon uh, forges because if we look up dragon steel you can see there is block of Fire Dragon Steel and Block of Ice Dragon Steel. And if I look up Dragon Forge, you can see there is Dragon Forge Fire Break and Dragon Forge Ice Break. So you can make a Ice Dragon Forge and a Fire Dragon Forge. Now I did some um, measurements for the, the for how big a Stage 5 Dragon actually is. Because I was like, well, they're gonna, they're gonna grow up eventually, right? So I need to make the place ready for when they actually get to that size. Believe it or not, that's actually quite big. If I just take a look in my notes, um, <laughs> this is, these are estimated by the way. These are not precise. I have not counted or sorry, I have not measured precise precise. Um, or just precise, <laughs> nah, can't talk. Um, I have not measured precise, but so these are, these are estimate or close. Um, the length, is 57 width 49 so I'm just gonna round it up to uh, length being 60 width being 50 and the height um, being roughly 17 I'm just gonna say 16 but maybe 17 maybe more maybe less again not precise measurements and uh, yeah I have kind of measured a place for a cave because there's no way I could fit anything up there I was hoping hey maybe I can put something out here but these Islands are way smaller than I had remembered, so 
not gonna happen. Instead, I have come to the conclusion of making a Dragonforge cave is way better. Well, making two basically, but we're gonna we're gonna stick with one for now, because this thing, from that torch right there to that torch, is, I believe, 50 or 55 blocks, and from that torch to that torch up there, I believe that is 25 in height. I need to excavate all that. One big square, I need to excavate all that, and then after that, I need to decorate it. And even when I've done that, it's probably not even big enough for a stage 6 dead dragon. I don't even know how to land one of those in there. Guess we're gonna find out. I think it's gonna be fine once I'm done with it, but uh, it's gonna take a lot of effort and a lot of work. So if for some reason there's not been an Ice and Fire video out for quite a while, well, now you know, now you know why. <laughs> I might even do some of this stuff on stream over on my Twitch channel, uh, link down in the description by the way, I don't know if I will, but maybe, if, maybe I will. Uh, yeah, yeah. But anyways, I need to excavate all that, which is why I made the diamond pickaxe, because this pickaxe has fortune, and I don't want to lose any more durability on that um, that I needed until I get bending on it. So in today's episode, to start off with, it's not going to be the only thing, but to start off with, I'm going to get a wither. I'm going to get a wither. We're going to get a, we're going to get a nether star. Is it called nether star? To be honest with you. I feel like it should be called a wither star, but okay. Um, we're gonna get another star, and with that, we're gonna make a beacon. So I can get minor uh, haste. Is it called haste? I believe it's called haste. I need haste, because I need that to go way faster. Plus, I could use some more wither bones. So we're gonna go to the nether and um, get... Oh yeah, uh, hold on. Eh. I need to check the thing. Um, so yeah, we're gonna go to the nether, which actually has been reset since the world, um... Is this? This is still Looney 3, I want that so bad, but I don't have 30 levels. <laughs> uh, that would make this so much easier, because I don't have any looting books, and I don't have looting on my sword. Do I have looting books? I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. Now that's a good sword. Sharpness 4, Unbring 3, not bad. It has fire expect, but it already has fire, so I mean that doesn't hurt. Worth the levels. Worth the levels. Don't need the sword anymore. Why didn't I check off that before? But anyways, we're gonna go and get to with the skulls of skulls. Hopefully this is going to be a lot easier now. Um, but yeah, the nether did get reset um, upon this world, well, change. So... I do believe I've been through the portal once? I don't know, dear. Yeah, let's find out. Let's go through. And... Loading terrain. Come on. Oh, dear. Uh, and here we are. Oh, dear. The sound's bucking out. <laughs> and we're right next to a... With a fortress. Sorry, a never fortress. Which, that's that's pretty cool. I'm very excited about this. Um, yeah, this is... I already hear some. Oh, boys. Oh, dear. <laughs> okay. I have not explored this whatsoever. I have not explored this at all. <laughs> I'm also gonna pick, kill Pigman, I feel like. Because I need, um... Oh, hey, buddies. Because I need, um... I need... I need run flesh. I need run flesh for the dragons. Oh dear. Oh, hey buddy. This should be pretty easy. Um, since we are pretty geared up. Oh dear, ow. I was saying I shouldn't be careful, but... I think we're in a pretty good shape. Watch me fall into lava and die. <laughs> With the bones, I want those, of course. Uh, go... I think I have plenty of saddles. Uh, gold, I'll take it, I suppose. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna run around this fortress until I find what I'm looking for. Which is, of course, with the skeletons. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll be back if something interesting happens. So um, yeah, because I don't want to only do that. I actually want to excavate this entire thing in this episode. So 
Yeah, I can't use too much time down here, but I'll be back if I find something interesting. So I'll be right back if something interesting happens. Stay tuned. I think I hear with the skeletons up above. I do indeed. Hey, buddy. No skull yet. Also, by the way, this leather is generated with biomes of plenty, so it actually is looking very, very pretty. Oh, we got more with the skeletons here. Like, look at it. Looks so cool. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. Come on, guys. Maybe these two will give a hit. Please. No. Ow. Rude. Ow. Oh. That was so worth it. That was worth it. We got a hit. That was worth it. Definitely worth it. Uh, oh, dear. Ah, not worth it. Ah. Oh, more. Let's see. Oh, dear. Just don't fall in the lava. Huh? 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 Just don't fall. I don't want to die. I don't want to die like this. Please. I would love not to die. I would love not to die. Uh, I, will, I would love, really, really love. Oh! Third hit. We can get out of here. We can pretty much get out of here now. Um, might as well kill some more, I suppose, while I'm here. Ah! I'll be right back. I am literally walking on flesh. Disgusting. Anyways, I feel like my adventure here is gone. Uh, not gone. Over for now. <laughs> I got what I needed. Um, I don't want to hang too much. Well, I really do want to explore this place. So I will do that. But another time. Got what we needed. Uh, oh, hey, buddy. One last wither. One last wither spell. Nope. Just normal bones. Did I check this chest? No, I did not, actually. Okay. Cool. Well, we're gonna get through, we're gonna make a beacon, and then we're gonna summon the wither, and hopefully not die okay. in the tent. I really need to not, yeah, I need to fix that. But yeah, let me get all the stuff prepared, and we'll take on the wither. Where? Uh, I don't know. Alright, I just did a little bit of testing in creative. And it would seem that there is a pretty harmless way, uh, harmless for me in a way, not the wither, to deal with the wither in the nether using a little tricky trick. Um, so I think we're gonna go through again and hope that I'm not gonna die in the process because that would be very sad, so... Uh... Okay, going through the nether again we are. Here we go again. Alright, so what I need is to get to the bedrock of the nether, which is... Ah! Ooh, wrong buttons. Wrong buttons. Which is probably gonna be easiest if I go up here. And I need to be at Y level 121. Or that's where the bedrock will start in a way uh, to be above me. So let me get there. All right, here we are. Now I just need to find a perfect place to put the wither. Uh, let me see if I can find what I'm looking for. And hopefully I'll be right back if I find what I'm looking for. I think... I think this could work, potentially. Let me check. Oh yeah, this one could potentially work out. Let me double think. Um, this block is in the way, I think. Uh, I just, <laughs> I need to be sure of this. All right, I'm gonna go with this one here. Um, Pretty certain it's not gonna work, but um, not much else I could do. I should have brought uh, my enchanted golden apples, shouldn't I? Because all lights are gonna be out, it's gonna be hard to see anything. Well, for now, let's get some work lights. Um, so, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place the tail there, and I'm gonna put the body like 
that and put hit right here. My hope is that he will get stuck and then take damage of himself and I will be able to just smack him to death. How well is that gonna work? Um, probably very wrong. Oh, what now? Oh, uh, wait, 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 excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, this should work. I guess that block is in the way for the tail then. Um, well, I'm gonna need another solution. Um, guess I'll have to keep looking. I think this is promising. I think this place right here is gonna be the best I can get my hands on. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna hope that it works doing it here. Um, if not, well, <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna have a problem on our hands, but it'll be fine, right? Let me just clear some space so I can also run and hide like a chicken if I have to. Uh, get these tort. I don't need a gas right now. Oh, if there's an opening nearby. Oh, here goes. Yeah, he's not stuck at all. He's not stuck at all. All right. Well, here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna eat. He's charging up. I'm charging up. Wait, is he? He's stuck. He is stuck. It worked. It actually worked. He is stuck. He is stuck. I just hope that I'm not releasing him by hitting him. He is stuck. It actually worked. <laughs> That's perfect. Now I hope I get the star. That actually worked. That actually worked. I'm so happy. Goodbye. And we got the star. <laughs> I'm saving these coordinates. Nice. Sweet. Way too much netherrack for me. Way too much netherrack. But wow, it worked. <laughs> uh, I believe I did his body like so. And then placed the hit right there. That actually worked. I'm so pleased. <laughs> you know what? I'm marking this place like so. I believe that was the way I did it. I think. I think that was the way I did it. Yeah. I'm, I'm marking that place. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. Uh, way too much another rag again. But we got the nether star. So now we can make the beacon. Now... Oh. That was... Actually, pretty close to my entrance. I did take a lot of my durability from my diamond pickaxe. Shouldn't have done that. It's a silk touch, but eh, I can get more. I have more diamonds back home. Not too big of a deal. Now I just gotta get back home and, uh, well, make a, um, well, might as well get these guys, right? I mean, we're here. If we can get another head as a reserve, maybe. Plus, I can use the wither bones. Yep. There we go. Alright, cool. Well, heading home and let's make a beacon. And get this mining started. Now, question is, do I have enough... Oh. I do not have enough of any blocks to even get the... Well, I can combine different blocks, so I mean, this should be enough. Uh, I, mean, I have plenty of iron here. I just need to smelt it. Uh, how much is a stack gonna be? Can I just fill this all the way up and then just... I need more storage! Alright, so that would be seven blocks if I smelted this many ore. That would be eight blocks. And then... Nine blocks. That's how much I wanna smelt right now, I think. How many furnaces do I have? Two? Ugh. Let me smelt up all this iron. It looks disgusting. Temporary solution. Don't worry. While that is cooking, we can make the beacon itself. Right there. Boom. And just to make sure that I remember correctly... Uh, okay, I can't even see it here. I was gonna check if haste was on the first... Um, on the first thing. But, uh, on the first, like, pyramid. But... I think it is. Anyways, still making for, still, eh, still waiting for the iron to smelt. All right, that is all the iron cooked up, so that should be 
Nine blocks of iron. Cool. Can get rid of these furnaces now. And take the coal back. And I can get over to my mining uh, area. After sleeping. I almost forgot to... I almost left without having something to activate the beacon with. So, uh, got that covered now. And moving over to the dig site. And here we are, and apparently my fly sound are gone again. But that's fine. Uh, what are we gonna do here? I think I'm just gonna place it right here. Actually, beacon should power up. Bring home the beacon. And haste is the top one right there. So now I should have haste. I don't know for how far. Let's see. This is how deep in I have to dig, by the way. Minimum. Like, this is how far. Like, at least. Does it last this far? No, it does not. Alright, well, let me walk till I get it again. Uh -huh. Wow, the range is not far on this thing. At all. Guess I'll have to move it. Anyways. This should make this a lot less annoying. <laughs> it's still so much to remove. How fast is it with like efficiency five? Whoa. Now that's a whoa. I mean, I might use this pickaxe and just smack mending on it and then kill mobs in the, mi in the night. I don't know. Anyways, um, this is what I'm going to be doing. Um, Man, I'm annoyed that I don't have more better efficiency on this. I might need to go do some book enchanting, hopefully getting that. But anyways, this is pretty much what I will be doing. And you will be seeing it from here or somewhere and uh, seeing me excavate this entire thing. That might take me many, many hours. Um, maybe days. Uh, who knows? But yeah, I'm going to get to... Uh, chopping and I'll see you guys <laughs> well next time there's something to come back for or when well this entire thing is stuck out so I'll be uh, right back in a moment for you probably hours perhaps days for me so yeah stay tuned for the time lapse <laughs> oh dear
All right, so we are back after the time lapse, which for you probably took like 10 or 12 minutes. But for me, it has taken a lot longer than that. <laughs> it has been a month since the last Ice and Fire episode, maybe even longer. And uh, this is why. And for those of you who have been following me and watching me in this world on Twitch, you now know what this project has been for. So yeah, it is complete, finally. Now what you saw in the time lapse there when it finished is not the final product. I did do more after that, but some of it was complicated and also it would have made this video a whole lot longer and in general was just easier to leave out a bunch of like detail work and stuff like that. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and take a look at it in a bit. Um, but another thing that has also happened is our dragons are no longer tiny ones. Nope, they are a whole lot bigger, as you can see. <laughs> and if we take a look at Meltiv here, just as an example, they are all three stage four now, which means of course that we can now ride them and they can throw spire, throw spire, no, uh, cast fire and, what not and also give us strength which is pretty cool <laughs> um i moved frost over here because he actually gets hurt from magma blocks the other stone so that's why i kind of moved uh, frost over here to the pond but uh yeah these guys are now very big and well we can fly them now uh there's just one bug right now in at, for me at least right now i don't know if it is fixed in the newest uh, Ice of Fire mod version. I can't do that's loud. Um, but once I hop onto one and jump off, you will no longer be able to see my armor um, and stuff. But it's fine. Let's uh, jump onto Meltiv. Ow. Let's jump onto Meltiv and let us fly over to the construction site and you will see the final product. I am going to fly over to the swamp a little bit just so we can get like a good view of it. So the build up for it or what it, something, I don't know. Let's fly. Let's take a look. There it is. The finished construction of the cave. And man, that is loud. <laughs> but here we have the finished cave right here. With this platform out here, eyes to the left and fire to the right. And that is kind of what inspired this design. Ice and fire. Ice and fire. Get it? Oh, hey, the armor is still here. Then I don't know what makes it disappear. <laughs> Anyways, that is kind of what, um, what, what inspired this design. So over here on the right, we have fire themed dragon stuff. And to the left, we have ice themed dragon stuff. Now the tricky part here uh, was this stuff right here. No, I did not mine a bunch of this material. I painted with the dragons, technically. <laughs> now, it was a little bit complicated because when you use the fire from the dragons, um, when you sit on them and make them shoot fire, um, it converts blocks like stone and dirt and stuff into this charred material. The thing is, in this as a fire version 1.8.4, uh, it converts back to normal after some time. And there is no way in the configuration that I have found that I could stop it from turning back to normal. Uh, so I actually had to go back to the old Eyes of Fire version 1.7.1 to do this, to paint with them, and then upgrade the world again to Eyes of Fire version 1.8.4. Um, so that is what I did and now the blocks are not converting, which is amazing. And so yeah, I could use them to paint this cave, which is pretty cool. Um, I kind of wish there was a configuration for that. I don't know if it's maybe an error that it's missing or something. I don't know. Also, there's these weird shadow glitches. They're annoying. I don't know how to get rid of them yet. Um, but yeah, this is the cave complete. We also stumbled upon a uh, zombie spawner over here which was very convenient for my Silk Touch Mending pickaxe. <laughs> so I just added a spawner here. Doesn't really hurt. I don't feel like having that here um, because I really want it. And yeah, it can 
It can give me XP and do stuff. So, yep, just like that. So that's pretty cool. Um, so now my plan here, as you already know, is to have the Dragon Forge here. And that is going to be placed right there by those four torches. We're not going to do that today. Um, we will do that another time, otherwise this episode is going to get way too long. Um, but yeah, that is something that we're going to have here. This is why we built this entire cave. And this way, I don't have to have two places for two different dragon dragon forges. I can have this one place be for both dragon types, which is pretty cool because ice and fire. Get it? <laughs> okay, I think I've said that enough. Um, we also have this platform here. So actually, um, at the beginning, I was planning on uh, mining in 60 blocks, as you can see all the way back here. But then I decided, then I got the idea to make this platform out here, which I then constructed. And now I'm, I'm not regretting that decision at all. It looks cool, in my opinion, super cool. Uh, a little bit of a death trap down here, as you can see, but I just really quickly want to show you some of the stuff that we have here. How much stone we actually got. Okay, that's not stone. Well, we also have coal. I don't think I'm ever going to need coal again in this series. But look, stone, stone. Also stone, I believe. Stone, 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 even more stone, empty, a little bit of stone. <laughs> so much stone from this. But yeah, that is the cave project complete. And then we're going to get the Dragon Forge at a later date. Because uh, I don't know if we will be doing it next episode. Because the Ice and Fire mod actually updated. And it has a bunch of cool new features and stuff that I want to take a look at. So I think Dragon Steel might be a long term goal. Also, because we need to slay a bunch of dragons to get. Dragon blood and scales and stuff for the forge itself. We have new stuff that I want to look at. But now this cave project is now complete and I am super happy with how it looks. It also looks really cool at night. But yeah, that is extremely cool and I'm very happy that this project is now complete. So with that said, I actually I'm going to leave Melter here. I'm going to leave Melter here just because. Just because. But I get, oh, there, there's the bug. <laughs> but with all that done and said, guys, I am going to call it an episode right here. And the next one won't take a month to come out. I promise that. Um, but yeah, not if I can help it anyway. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I am going to call it an episode here. I really, really hope you enjoyed because it took a lot of time. And yeah, I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day. And uh, yeah, goodbye. Pompaya gatos, ok, a gatos, e con talano e ruta e si. Zapu o e fru, i kni maia, nesta banting, i kunting nari. Pompaya gatos, ok, a gatos, e con talano e ruta e si. Zapu o e fru, i kni maia, nesta banting, i kunting nari.